Hello guys, KP Shamino here with another guide for Alaska and this time it's for the unique Chinook Salmon. So what I'm doing the last couple of days uh, is fishing around with a bobber. Why I'm fishing around with a bobber? Because it's very fun now. With uh, introducing the new spinning reel, they uh, fill the gap on the Brutus uh, rod. So in the past we had the 12 kilogram test or max drag on the double punch but now with the new spinning reel that goes a lot higher uh, we can fill the gap and it's really fun to fish on the big fish with the match rod so uh, it's a trophy alligator guard the sturgeon the blue catfish and this fellow this fellow i didn't know i was thinking today you know what let's try to get the king we call them the king of alaska with a bobber and my third guest uh, or my second guest, I think, was right away the unique. So I was really happy and uh, it went really well. So because I, I don't think that anybody that I know even tried it with a bobber or caught him with a bobber. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how you need to get it. Okay, it's a, f a very fun fight. It's uh, it's not that you are going to get spooled, you guys just saw it. And that, that's how it has to be in my opinion. So let's get started and uh, let's keep this fellow. So uh, it's a nice unique, it was not the biggest one, it's a small one. But uh, yeah, that's how it is. Okay, let's, uh, let's first start with showing you guys the position. So you need to go uh, to, yeah, I already was there, what the fuck, so... Let's do this. You need to go to here, to the hunter's cabin. And what you need to do then is, uh, you just need to go on the islands. All you guys know that on the islands you need to stand to get the Chinook. Or you need to go all the way to the left. So here you got island number one. So let's go to island number one. And I'm not fishing from island three. So as the most guys do and throw to the rock. No, I'm fishing from island two. That's this one. And what you need to do is, you need to go... Yeah, not all the way to the left, but a little bit before the left. For the simple reason that there is a flow on the water. And if you stand here, so this area, that's where you can get the unique. But if you're standing here, the main problem is that, uh, that you cannot handle your line that well. So I stand a little bit to the left, uh, to the right now I mean. And what you need to do then is very easy. You just need to throw more than 25 meters. For the simple reason, if you throw more than 25 meters, you can adjust your line check. Yeah, and now it's nicely straight. Because I missed the Chinook. Uh, for the simple reason that my line was, I had like, I think, 10 meters of line in front of my bobber. I strike, nothing happened. And I was like, what the fuck is happening? But that's the main problem. The best position is around 25 meters. I got this one too at 25 meters. So uh, you see my line already going because I think that the bobber is uh, is hitting at the moment the ground. And it's always the same. The line is not as heavy as the bobber. Therefore, the line is going a little bit faster at the moment. So now you see that I got a lot of line. What you do now is just adjust a little bit like this. That you always got good contact with your bobber. Because if you need to strike, uh, yeah, you need to strike in time. Otherwise, you are going to miss the fish. And it's already not that easy in this game to strike in time. On this fish, I didn't have a problem. It seems that the time that you got to strike on this fish is uh, a lot bigger than, for example, the, the, the chain pickerel in New York or like uh, the butterfly bass in uh, Florida. This one gives you a little bit more time. So that's good. So that's what you need to do guys and then you just need to wait and you see it right away the Chinook bite's really strong so you see it even on this pearl shaped bobber uh, you see the bite really quick it's not that you don't see the bite and all of a sudden your bobber is gone no that's not the case let's reel a little bit and most of the time I go to this tree second tree here or first tree and then I just reel back in and I go again and you see you got a lot of time because that's the major problem here you need to create some time for yourself otherwise yeah your bobber is in 10 seconds from right to left and sometimes it takes 20 to 30 seconds for a fish uh, to bite 
But that's the position. He's, he's now almost uh, yes, standing still, my bobber. Is he snagged? No, I don't think so. So that's what you need to do, guys. That's how you need to get this fish. It's very fun fishing. I was the other day uh, in Missouri. And uh, just getting the trophy alligator gar for 10 days. Because I'm going to explain, I think, in the next video. Uh, the difference with the match setup now. So what I just said with the reel. But I'm going to show you guys that. And then I'm going to catch some trophy alligator guards. Uh, just to show you guys how it is those days. Match rod fishing. So now for the time frames. Sunny day 5 to 10. Partly cloudy 5 to 10. I tried cloudy. And with a bobber you can see that really quick. Because you get... I think a little bit more fish with the bobber than with, uh, with the lure because you're always on the best position. And on, on cloudy, on the, the, the time frames that I got from the Uber sheet, 2, to, 2 p.m. to 9 p.m., I, I only had like normal the first two hours. So that doesn't look really like a unique time zone because you would expect that you get trophies and then a unique. That's for me unique time zone. It's possible you guys can try it. I just give it with you guys. Cloudy 2 to 9 p.m. So now the setup. And I will show you guys right away what I mean with closing the gap. So uh, you guys see now with the Brutus he's 16 kilograms. But in the past we only had the double punch. So if you go now to the double punch. I got uh, one double punch here, that's 12 kilograms. So there was four kilograms difference between the rod and the reel. And that's, uh, that's the gap. But the gap is now closed with the new spinning reel. So now the max drag on the new spinning reel is 19 kilograms. So the brutals and the river tags are at the same level. So in the past we needed to fish with a moan of uh, 0 0.5, that's 14.5 uh, kilogram. But now we got the fluoro 0 0.6 and that's 18 kilogram. So the, the setup now is just the same like the casting setup for the match rod. Because the test was there 14.52. So it doesn't matter how strong it is. The casting rod is still a lot stronger. But the line is the most important and the reel. So therefore the gap is closed. So we go from 12 kilograms to 15 and a half because you cannot go on max drag otherwise you break stuff. Uh, but that's a, a nice improvement. That's uh, almost 20-30% improvement on strength. And you see it. it uh, it's, it's a lot of more fun. But an offset. Uh, Fluoro 0.6. Pearl shaped floater hook 6.0. Large minnows. And I'm at maximum depth. Yeah, it's 248. But... It's maximum depth is just the same. So go maximum 6-0 hook go with large minnows. I tried with, uh, with shrimps too. But it seems that with shrimps I got normals too. So I'm not sure that shrimps is a unique bait. But you guys can hang on it what you want. To give you guys another tip. Most of the time if you go to a shop in an area. You see what works in the area really, really well. They just put it here. So shrimps, small minnows here. You see all the bait. Uh, the nymphs, uh, they work really well, the setup. So most of the time, that's al already an indicator what you need to use in this area. And what most of the time works really well. It's like, I think, a little bit an eastern egg from the, from the developers. But you need to look at it, of course, otherwise you don't know it. Uh, okay, uh, now it's time. I got the time frames, I got the setup. Now it's time to check the fish. Trophy Chinook Salmon, unique Chinook Salmon. 43 gold. A lot of experience. Very fun to fish for. I'm going to fish a little bit more on this dude. Because I want to check how much uh, fish I can get. But that was it for the guide guys. Uh, thanks for the support. If you like the video give me a like. If you like my channel subscribe please. And I see you guys the next time. Bye bye.